Jerry of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hello, Mr. Randall. What you doing around here, watching Rags' act? Well, now, I hadn't thought of it. <laughs> it's a pretty good idea now that you've reminded me. He's got a new trick that's a fib. I'm glad to hear it, Jerry. As a matter of fact, I'm hanging around to see Patsy's new stunt. Well, of course. I, I should have thought of that. Hi, Mr. Randall. It looks like we're in for a big blow. I hope not, Bill. I noticed the wind coming up after lunch. There they go in their walk around now. Mm -hmm. Gee, I bet Rags is glad to be working again. You think he missed it? Oh, I'm sure he did. He used to whine and cry like a baby if I didn't bring him around the backyard during the show. The <laughs> dogs are certainly funny. <laughs> there he goes now. Gee, he's sure great. Hey, did you see that somersault, Mr. Randall? Yeah, I can't say that I did, son. Ah, oh, gee, you shouldn't have missed it. I'm looking at those swings and ropes and trappings hanging from the top of the tent. Where? Oh, good night. Look at him swing. I'm afraid that wind's getting pretty heavy. Hey, what about Patsy's new trick? I know. That's what I'm doing around here during the show. Well, uh, now let's see who, how Rags is doing. Oh, gee, he's most through. Hey, here they come now. <laughs> My golly, that, that dog jumps like... Patsy says he jumps like a, a kangaroo. <laughs> he does with that. Pretty cute dog. He's getting to be quite an attraction. It was sure nice of you to let him work with fun. Oh, no, it wasn't. I, I don't put things into my show to be nice to people, much as I'd like to. After all, my first problem is to please the audience. Of course. So they have to come first. If I find something good, I put it in because I think the audience will like it. And if the audience doesn't seem to like it... I take it right out again. Then I guess Rags is pretty good to still be allowed to work. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh Rags, your, your act is over. I, I'm ashamed of you. What do Mr. Randall think? <laughs> he certainly knows how to beg forgiveness. <laughs> it's almost... Well, sometimes I, I just think I can't say no to him. Yeah, I can see how hard it must be. Uh, where'd Bumps go? Yes, he went right through the wagon to change. Mm -hmm. He often does when I'm here to pick up rags. Oh, gee, here comes Patsy now. Hi, Patsy. Hello. Oh, oh how are you, Mr. Randall? Fine, thank you. Patsy, uh, about that new act of yours. Yes, Mr. Randall? A pretty bad wind. Oh, I've worked in wind before. I know, but uh, don't you think it's a bad time to try out a new act? Well, you've announced it in the programs, haven't you? Oh, yes, but that doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does. When you promise the public something, you've got to give it to them. Not if I risk hurting any of my performers. Oh, now, don't you worry, Mr. Randall. I have the net, so there's no real danger. I've only been in the business long enough to take any falls if necessary. Yes, but I don't want you to. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Randall Brothers Circus takes great pleasure in bringing to you that renowned little artist, Patsy of the Air. This gorgeous little lady, for the first time, will bring to her public a new and hazardous trick. Mademoiselle Patsy, in her latest and most spectacular feat of the air. Golly, Mr. Randall, she's pretty, isn't she? Uh, pretty and clever. And brave. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of little out there all by herself. Mm. I'm glad when this is over. Well, she's taken off her robe. Mm -hmm. Gee, the audience sure likes her. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, 
I wonder what he thinks about when she lets go of those trapezes and, and turns in the air before catching on to the other rod. I asked her that once, Jerry. Oh, what did she say? She, she says she always wonders if she left the trapeze swinging straight. <laughs> That's funny. Not a bit. It's the natural thing for her to think about. Well, why? Well, if she's left it perfectly straight, it'll surely be right for her return trip as she flies across that great empty space. Oh, of course. I, and if it's twisted, I, I suppose it might swing kind of uneven. Yeah, and she'd probably miss. Golly, must be an awful lot to remember up there. And look, she, she does it so easy, just like flying. That's why she's the greatest little aerialist in the business. But she's been training at it since she was a baby. It, it, it must be nice for that new trick. Yep. Mr. Randall. Yes, Jerry? The wind's coming up again. Look at those trappings. I know. She's ready. Yeah. What's wrong? Why is she waiting? Oh, nothing. She, she's just waiting for that trapeze to right itself. Golly. There she goes. Mr. Randall, she slipped. Oh. Oh, gee, she fell. Golly, look at her bossing that net. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Yeah, but why? Why, even in rehearsal, she never slipped. She took her fall nice anyhow. Yeah, I bet she did. She, she sure climbs up there fast. Mm, you know, you can't keep the audience waiting too long. She's going to try it again. Yeah. Honest, I, I'm as scared as if I had to jump off that platform. Yeah, I'm sort of nervous myself. There she goes. Gee whiz, a, a somersault and a half turn. And another somersault. Oh. oh, gosh, what a shame. I'll bet she feels terrible. Yeah, she couldn't help it that time, Jerry. That canvas top blew her trapeze off at an angle. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall, don't, don't you think she ought to stop trying? Oh, no, she can't now. It's too late. Well, what do you mean? Well, when you once start a trick in front of your audience, you have to keep on until you get it right. But when there's a win... No, it doesn't matter. Either you mustn't attempt a trick or else you must keep at it until you do it right. But that seems awful. Well, Mr. Randall's right, Jerry. Oh, hello there, Mr. Bradley. I, I didn't see you. Gee, Patsy's having a, an awful time. Ah, she's ready. Good. Well, two somersaults and two half turns. Oh, what a... Boy, you made it. You made it, Mr. Randall. Oh, boy, she is terrible, Mr. Randall. Now, quiet, quiet, Jerry. Quiet, quiet. That's so loud. I'm sorry. Shoot, be quiet, Rag. Oh, Jiminy Willikers, that... That was something. <laughs> Aren't you proud of her, Mr. Randall? Uh, she's a grand little trooper. Fine performer. Of course, I'm proud of her, Jerry. A gifted little lady. Oh, youth. Youth, how wonderful it is to be young with the whole world at your feet. Here she comes now. Oh, Patsy, you were wonderful. Uh, nice work, Patsy. Oh, Mr. Randall, I'm so sorry. I, I missed it twice. Well, I haven't done a thing like that since... Ah, uh, my dear I... child, it was all right. With that wind blowing, all those trappings around, it's beyond me how you made the performance at all, let alone new turn. Oh, but twice to fall, I feel terrible. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Miss Patsy, for a truly great performance. Why, in the face of great adversity, you never for a moment lost faith. But... Mr. Bradley, Mr. Bradley, you, you go on here. Yes, what? What's that? I... Oh, yes, 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 of course, Jerry. Uh... Oh, you see, even my faithful friend Lulu is at my heels already. Oh, alas, I fear the years are taking their toll. Oh, he's a dear. Yeah, and I'm afraid he's getting pretty old for this kind of life. If it weren't for... Uh, oh, well. For what, Mr. Randall? I'm afraid I can't tell you. It's, it's personal regarding only Mr. Bradley and his son. And I'm afraid this will be the last season I'll be able to let him stay. Oh, Mr. Randall, but, but Mr. Bradley... Yeah, what? I know, my boy, but... Remember what I told you about the public. They are the first to be considered. Oh, but they love him. See, listen to them. Ah, you're right, Patsy. He's a grand old trooper, and I'm proud to have him with us. Hey, Jerry! Jerry! Yeah? What is it? Uh, Whitey's calling for you. He needs some help. Uh, the, the wind's doing some damage, and, and the horses are nervous. Gee whiz, I'll, I'll be right there. Say, goodbye, Mr. Randall. I, I got some work to do. Oh, right, goodbye, Jerry. <laughs> He's a great little kid, that. Jerry? Oh, he surely is. And thrilled to death when there's something he can do. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy. Yes, Mr. Randall? I want to thank you for your nice performance this afternoon. Oh, but, but uh, I... You didn't let me down, and you didn't let the audience down. Oh, but Mr. Randall... Yeah, I know. You think you didn't give a finished performance. That wasn't your fault. I know that, but still... As a matter I... of fact, it, uh, you know this business well enough to know the advantage of falling now and then. Oh, you mean it makes the audience think the trick is harder? Mm. And when you finally do it, they think they've seen something more difficult than it really is. That's it. Now, I've never gone in for fooling the public that way. Lots of show folks do it as a matter of routine. Yes, I know. But when it happens, because of things we can't help... You mean that it made it even more exciting for the folks? Exactly. Well, I was too upset to think about that, I guess. Yeah, so you see, now you just stop worrying. Get to your dressing wagon and rest. Thanks, Mr. Randall. 
You know, I think you're one of the nicest people in the world. Well, that's it. And I'm proud to be working for you. Goodbye. Well, I'll be... Mr. Randall. Huh? Mr. Randall. Oh, why, Johnny, what's the matter? A catastrophe has just occurred. I... Well, uh, now take it easy, old man. It can't be as bad as all that. Oh, but it is. The worst. What I have always feared has befallen me. Oh, now, now, Johnny, please, what's this all about? You remember my telling you all about my son? Why, yes, yes, of course. Well, so funny, it crossed my mind a little while ago. Well, he's here today. What do you mean? He lives here in Jackson City, and oh, he... You, you, you mean he's out in the audience? Yes, yes, out there. It's the first time he's ever... It's ever happened. Oh, but why would he be here in this the oh, afternoon? Oh, that's right. Yes, you say he's a lawyer. Perhaps he had a day off. But he takes his work so seriously. Oh, but that's all quite beside the point. What am I to do? What do you mean? Well, I can't... No, I I just can't go on again, Mr. Randall. Why, nonsense, John. He'll never recognize you. Not in that crazy costume and that face painted no, on you. No, no, of course not. But uh, the Shakespearean act. That I cannot do. I don't see how he could possibly recognize oh, you. Oh, but he will. Oh, you don't understand, Mr. Randall. Dick was brought up in the theater. His whole boyhood was backstage. He knows my old Shakespearean roles almost as well as I do. Oh, I think hearing you in those lines would... I assure you, Mr. Randall, he couldn't fail to recognize me. He knows how I read every line I've ever played. He was brought up hearing me rehearse from the moment he woke up till he fell asleep in my dressing room at night. Uh, this is... I hardly know what to say. Could you... Would you let the boy go on? Oh, please. He knows enough of the lines, and after all, he, it's a matinee. Yeah, I know, and mostly children. They wouldn't appreciate the act as much as the adult audience anyhow. May heaven shower you with blessings, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Now, Jack, now run over to the horse tent and tell Jerry to come here as quick as possible. Yes, Mr. Randall. Oh, thank you, Mr. Randall. I, I'll never forget this as long as I live. Well, that's uh, all right, Johnny. Now, uh, you don't think there's any danger of this happening again? Oh, no, you? no, I'm sure there isn't. You see, now that he's caught the show, he won't come again. And, of course, once we leave Jackson City behind us... Uh, there's no danger of his recognizing your name in the program? No. No, Mr. Randall. You see, I, I didn't give you my true name. Uh -huh. It's... It's John B. Grayson. Not the great Grayson? Bradley was my mother's name, sir. Well, I can hardly believe my ears. The great Grayson, a clown... In my circus. But you'll never breathe a word of this. On my word of honor. He's gone, Mr. Randall. Jerry left the horse tent a few minutes ago. Well, find him. Get all the men to search the grounds at once. Jerry must be found. He's got to go on in Johnny Bradley's place in 15 minutes. 